Today we're going to talk about how to make the night in the tent comfortable. What's your thoughts about that? Oh, well, first of all, I think it's important to look at the surrounding and the nature and uh, well, basically find a decently flat spot um, to make it comfortable when you lie down. And also here we are quite close to the water. Uh, and that's always very nice to pitch the tent uh, very close to the water. It's uh, beautiful, but you also have to think about the moist. So for us tonight, we are actually pitching the tent a little bit far off the water to get a little bit uh, more dry air up here. And then we have uh, no super exposure to, to wind as we are protected by the trees pretty well. But if we were like on an exposed area, like on the mountain or closer to the water or wherever the wind really gets a hold of the tent, then the alignment to the wind would be super relevant, of course, also. So, but uh, this spot will uh, do the trick for, for the purpose. Let's, Let's get moving. Yeah. Det er så trælt. So, uh, when creating the conditions for a nice tent night, you would want to uh, make sure that the tent fabric is fully stretched, both to avoid the flapping sound of wind in the tent, but also to uh, avoid moisture that will occur during the night to uh, disturb you. The fabric on most Fjellhaven tent is made out of uh, uh, polyamide, nylon. The properties of this material is that it expands when it gets wet and if you stretch up the tent as much as possible uh, before going to bed the conditions are perfectly set for a good night inside the tent. All right before going to bed what's your thinking? The first thing you do when you're entering the tent is actually to open up all the ventilation. Uh, well you have the ventilation here in the back and you open it fully in the door, you yes. can actually, um, yeah, you use simply the mosquito net and uh, keep it open. If you are 150% sure that it's not going to rain uh, and maybe if you don't have any gear close to the door, I mean, obviously you can keep the mosquito net only but you never know what's going to happen in the in the night so um, yeah if you want to keep your your gear uh, dry maybe i would use the yeah, yeah. the so the so why clothes. why is this ventilation so important then you think because otherwise you're going to get so much moist uh, maybe we should open this <laughs> you get so much moist on the inside and actually it's um, a lot of people they they tend to think that uh, the colder it is, the more you have to close, but it's actually the opposite around. Uh, so especially if you're camping in winter time, if you don't open the ventilation, you're going to get almost like a, a, a cover of ice on the inside. And you don't want that at all. You want to keep everything inside here dry. And in order to do that, you have to open the ventilation and get all the moist air out. I think that's probably one of the most common mistakes and where we, any tent producer would get the most claims on the tents. People say that they, the tent is not uh, waterproof, it's leaking, but uh, the fact of the matter is that most of the time it's due to poor ventilation. Yes, but the worst part is if you do get the, the, the water on the inside of the tent, your sleeping bag is going to yeah. be... Uh, moist as well and that is the worst thing. Yeah so my rule of thumb is like open up as much as possible 
Yeah. And if it's super cold and windy and it's not, you're not retaining any heat at all, then you start to close. Uh, but if you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. It's all about moisture management. It is. That's also why the outer fly sheet of the tent, it's waterproof. Polyamide with uh, silicone treatment on both sides, uh, PFC free. And the inner tent is, uh, is a polyester that is uh, hydrophobic. Yes. So uh, the water escapes through it yes. quite well. Yeah. So uh, now we have entered the, the tent and we know how to ventilate. Uh, what are you wearing when you're sleeping in a tent? A, a liner, a uh, base layer, like a wool base layer, uh, long johns and the top is what I would put on to start with. And if it's cold, I would definitely wear a beanie and socks. Yeah. I would probably not wear more in the sleeping bag. No. Then before going to sleep, what, what do you do in the tent? Well, you have to uh, to have the heat in your body before you enter the tent. Yeah. Uh, in this season, in the summertime, is no problem. But especially if it's colder, uh, you would need to maybe work out a little bit so you have a, a good body temperature yeah. before you enter the tent. I think. I mean, the the sleeping bag is exactly like a thermos. If yeah. you put something cold in it, it will remain cold for a long, long time. And if you put something warm in it, it will uh, insulate and will stay warm for a long time. That's a really good example because that's just how it is. That's, uh, so uh, you need to be warm before you put yourself into the sleeping bag. Yes. I think one important part is also the sleeping mat. What's your thought? About yeah, that? I mean, uh, no matter how thick of a sleeping bag you have, if you don't have a proper insulation from the cold or from the ground, you, the sleeping bag won't keep you warm. You, you need to insulate from the cold coming from the ground. And um, again, one of the best or maybe the best uh, insulator is the air. So you, um, getting a barrier with air between you and the ground is like the, the theory behind it. First, we have a ground sheet like a 14 millimeter foam mat kind of uh, sleeping mat. And on that we had like an inflatable uh, sleeping mat with a lot of air. We said before that you have to look for a decently flat um, uh, space on yeah. the ground. But to be honest, it's not that simple all the time. So use the spare clothes that yeah. you have to even out and to get that flat, uh, flat ground because you'll have a much more comfortable uh, sleep, I think. But it's not that important to find the perfect spot to pitch the tent. As long no. as you can get the pegs down and uh, exactly. the, the tent is secured, you can build up from the inside to make a comfortable yeah. bed. Because if you do want to find that perfect spot, you would have to go and look in a garden yeah, somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Or, <laughs> and that's not or a the, camping <laughs> that's campsite. That's not what we yeah, do, no. no. All right, what you're thinking about the, the sleeping bags and uh, I mean there are different ratings and stuff like that. Well, all sleeping bags, there are like a temperature span. Most of the time it's like a comfort uh, temperature uh, and also an extreme temperature. And then uh, you have to sort of get back to yourself and think, am I a cold person? Am I warm? If you're using a sleeping bag that is uh, made for, uh, for really cold temperatures and it's a little bit too warm, you're going to sweat a lot and then you're going to get the, the sleeping bag moist. But if it is too cold at yeah. night, we do have some tips as well on yeah, how to Yeah, for that. sure. Yeah. I could use like a, a sleeping bag liner. You can increase the, the temperature that the sleeping bag has capacity to insulate a lot by, by adding one layer extra inside the whole sleeping bag. So a sleeping bag liner would increase the, the insulating capacity uh, a, a bit. Yeah. And I see you also brought uh, something that is actually a favorite of mine, the bottle. The bottle? Yes, I always use it. What do you use it for? 
Uh, I use it as a little, uh, like a, a little heater yeah. inside the sleeping bag. So I boil water, the last thing I do in the evening, and I, uh, I fill my bottle up and you put a little sock on it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's good because otherwise it gets too hot. Uh, and I put this one in the sleeping bag, maybe 10 minutes before I go to, to bed. And then when I get in the bag, it's all nice and comfy. And um, I have also a uh, little bit of a reinforcement jacket. Um, and that one I would, um, <coughs> you know, if I'm cold, I would put it uh, on top of my sleeping bag, something like that when I'm in it. To yeah. just reinforce on the outside to trap the air, keep it warm, and put a little bit of extra insulation to the sleeping bag. Um, yeah, and then I also brought my uh, shell jacket. Mm -hmm. and, and how do you use that one? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of reinforcement, but it's also moisture management. Yeah. Uh, so I'd put it uh, on top of my sleeping bag uh, on the foot section to protect actually the, the sleeping bag from getting in contact with the, our inner tent. It's all about moisture management and you will have moisture inside of the tent and if you can um, protect the sleeping bag it will both bring a little bit of reinforcement but also protection from the moisture. True. I see that you have something here as yeah. well that could <laughs> add to For the comfort. Sure. What's that? Uh, this is uh, a little Hello. That's quite luxury. Yeah. Um, I usually take a, a bag that will be a perfect pillow as well. I usually uh, create my own uh, pillow along uh, along the way. Yeah. 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 Me too. All right. So uh, you've done all the tricks in the book, and uh, you're still freezing. Oh, that's yeah. That's really bad because then you will have a a bad night uh, sleep, and yes. you'll be tired in the morning. And that is something that we really want to prevent. Yeah. And I think there are no actual shortcuts uh, to, to gain the heat back. Uh, you have to get out and you have to get uh, outside of the tent and start moving around in order to get that body heat back again. Funny enough, usually goes hand in hand with uh, getting uh, the feeling that you need to go out and take a pee. True, that's true. Uh, and also, it's, it's really bad if you are lying in the tent and you have that need, yeah. uh, but you're also so cold at the same time, uh, even though it's, uh, it's mentally hard to get up and get out, uh, I think that is the number one thing to do. Just do it. Just do it. So there are some tips for making the night as comfortable and warm or cold as possible. Yeah. Uh, ventilation, get rid of the moisture, insulate from, from the ground and add some uh, inside or outside of the sleeping bag and uh, if you need to go, go. No more things to add. Good night. Good night.